glorify him and magnify his name and lift him up because he's worthy to be praised. He is indeed worthy to be praised. The word come to us this morning from Proverbs 17 and verse 22. We're going to talk about being joyful, being joyful. Proverbs 17 and verse 22 says a happy heart is like a good medicine. A happy heart is like good medicine. And that's what I want to that's what I want to talk to you about this morning. A happy heart is like good medicine. I shared this one bef- with you before. But I feel oh, that it's appropriate for us to talk about it again. Proverbs 17 and verse 22. Being joyful. Proverbs 17 and 22 compares joy and cheerfulness to medicine. Yes? To medicine. It says this, a happy heart is like a good medicine. A joyful heart is like a good medicine. But a broken spirit drains your strength. Worry, anxiety, and sadness leave us feeling drained and tired and weak. But the effect of joy, the effect of joy on our spirit is like the effect of medicine that medicine can have on us when we're feeling ill. Although there are studies that show being cheerful and positive could be beneficial to our health. Yeah, that's what the doctors say to me. Being cheerful and, and positive could be beneficial to our to our health this verse certainly doesn't mean we should reject medical help it doesn't mean that at all or think we can replace it by just being positive about life god has blessed doctors and scientists with the skills to discover treatments and help us when we're ill let me make sure that we make that clear this morning. And there's nothing in his word, nothing in God's word that says we shouldn't accept medical help. We shouldn't accept medical treatment. Nothing in God's word that says that. That we shouldn't reject medical help or think that we can replace it by just being positive about our life. Nothing in his word says we should not seek professional help at all. But alongside any medical treatment we need, my brothers and sisters, we should also ask God to help us too. In Romans 12 verse 12, it says this, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Whatever circumstances we're facing this morning, we can ask God to help us have joy. We can ask him to help us to have joy. That doesn't mean we forget the seriousness of the things we're facing or that our feelings don't matter. We can experience God's joy when we tell him about what's burdening our mind and hand it over to him to carry us through, to carry us along. When our hope and trust is in God, we can learn to be joyful in all kinds of circumstances. Because we know he'll walk with us. We'll know, we know that he will comfort us. We know that he will be with us and allow us to draw on his strength to face our circumstances. So being joyful doesn't fix all. But the Bible says it's good medicine. It's good medicine for all of us to exercise here. Try to be joyful today. Ask God to help you this morning to feel his joy. At times, at times today, you might feel burdened down or sad, but ask God to help you to feel his joy. And in all situations that you face this day, today 
I pray that you will find yourself at a joyful place. You'll find yourself at a joyful place today. Throughout your day, today, on this day, the 23rd of November. I implore you to ask God for help. Ask him this morning. Say, Father God, help me. Help me, Jesus. That I might be a place, be at a place of joyfulness. Today, I will not have anything, anything to upset me to the point where I lost my joy. Ask him to help you feel his joy at all times today and in all situations you'll find yourself in today. God bless you. And I pray that these words will help you throughout your day. A happy heart is like good medicine. A happy heart is like good medicine, but broken spirit drains your strength. That's what the scripture says. So find joy on this day. This day that the Lord has made. God bless you. God bless you. It's the morning show. It's the morning show. Gospel joy. With DJ Roy. You're tuned in to the Gospel Joy. With